Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Tuesday, May 1st. This is for all signs. This is the energy I'm picking up on today. Um, doesn't mean that it's happening just today. This could have happened. It could be happening in the near future. Whatever, you know, timing is fluid. We're all at different phases in our lives. So, you know, I'm picking this up for May 1st. Tuesday, May 1st, 2018. If you guys would like a quick reading, I do have Instago now, and I will answer you within 24 hours. Usually much sooner, but I say 24 hours just to be safe. But if you'd like a private reading, we can do that too. The specifics are down below. This is for all signs. Daily energy. Tuesday, May 1st. This is the Crystal Visions Tarot deck. Happy birthday to the Tauruses. Five of Wands, some sort of competition, game, conflict, tension. It's time to do the right thing. Learning a new skill, perhaps. Broadening your horizons. Planning for the future. Learning new things. New ways. You know, somebody may be emotionally unavailable or unable to commit to love at this time. Maybe they're focusing on schooling or work or something. And, and that could be the competition, you know, work or love. What am, where am I going to put my focus on? You know, the future's in your hands. What, what's most important to you? Is love most important or is work most important? I mean, you have to make a decision here. What's most important? Do you, one of them is going to have to take the back burner unless you can really balance them out. Like, phenomenal. You know, if you can really balance them out 50-50, then more power to you. But if you put one way above the other, it tends to cause some conflicts. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah. Somebody might have to let go of some responsibilities when you try to do too much at one time. If somebody, somebody that is watching this is probably putting, giving too much of their energy to their work and not which is putting love on the back burner and it could be pushing love away somebody that you're dealing with may be feeling that you're not fulfilling them emotionally you're not communicating to them effectively how you feel in a loving manner if you're putting work you know in front of love they may feel like you're emotionally unavailable because they're not you know high up in the ranking you know they're not they're not high enough on the list of priorities you know maybe you're doing too much maybe you you have too many responsibilities and you need to let something go so that you can figure out you know if you want if you want to make yourself emotionally available to love you know somebody is probably losing their concentration they've lost their concentration they've lost their focus things may be a little bit out of control maybe in the workplace or in your financial arena and maybe that's why you've pushed love to the back burner i don't know somebody isn't feeling emotionally content that's for darn sure there's definitely a competition here you could be dealing with another person who's trying to compete for your attention You know, and there's an exciting opportunity right in front of you with the Ace of Wands. This is about growth, expansion, a new partnership. You could There's a new beginning here. And before I started this, before I even started shuffling, before I started turning on the camera, I thought new beginnings. That's what popped into my head. There is an opportunity for a new exciting beginning here. It's like there's a spark between you and another person or you in a situation. There's a lot of ex excitement but the future's in your hands. Do you have time for it? That's the question. Do you have time for it? 
I mean, this could lead to a lot of love. There's an opportunity for a new beginning in love or a new start in love, you know. There's definitely an opportunity for a union to happen between two people. That's very exciting, passionate, um, fiery. But some somebody could be clinging to the past hurts, and that's why maybe, maybe they're they're protecting themselves from becoming emotionally available by burying themselves in their work. Maybe you're letting making somebody fight for your time because of the demons of the past, the ghosts of the past are haunting you. So you you may be making somebody fight for your attention, compete for your attention to see if they're worthy, you know, and that's not fair. It's not fair. So I feel like somebody could be clinging to past hurts, angers, anger from angry of the past. When they have this new opportunity for love. But they could be losing out because they don't, they're making the new person pay. You're going to pay for what he or she did to me in the past. You need to let go of that baggage. Let that baggage go. You don't need it. All it does is bring tension into your life. If you want this new soulmate connection or union or partnership to work out, you're going to have to make yourself emotionally un emotionally available instead of unavailable and let go of the past anger and control issues. Make sure you're judging the situation clearly. Are you seeing this clear, clearly? Release the past. Judgment is about releasing the past. Think about Judgment Day. When you die, and it, I don't know what your religion is, and that doesn't really matter, but in my belief, when you die and you go to Judgment Day, you go over the sins or your life or the, the past, and you shed them before you go through the doors. That's what I believe. So it's about shedding the past, letting go of that baggage so that you can have this beautiful, loving partnership that you really want. Don't cling to the past. Let it go. Let it go. The judgment card is also about karma and truth. You learned from it, right? You learned from the past. You did. Now it's time to move on. Whatever is happening right now, is meant to happen at this time for a reason. There's a new passionate beginning. The future is in your hands. You could lose the opportunity if you cling to the past. I just want to make sure this is zoomed in. So this is for Tuesday. May 1st, there's an opportunity for love, okay? There is, for something to blossom, for something to begin, for something beautiful, passionate, fertile. But you can't bring that baggage with you. Mm -mm. Let go of the emptiness. From the, let go, let it go, let it go. Let the past die because happiness and wish fulfillment is here. It is. It's a time of growth. It's a time of healing. It's a time of renewal. Hope and inspiration. Let the past die. That's my advice for today. You have an opportunity for happiness, bliss, passion, excitement, and love. But you're going to have to put it at the top of the list. Don't bury yourself in everything but that and make yourself emotionally unavailable. Because if you do, you could lose the opportunity. Are you making the right call?
we're going to get a couple of Angel Romance cards. Why I picked this deck, I do not know. It's funny that I did because this is about love. Today, it's about love. If you want this, you're going to have to give it all. You're going to have to give it all. Are you ready to give it all or not? That's the question of the day. It's a wake-up call. The judgment card is a wake-up call. Wake up. Do you want this opportunity for love or not? Because if you do, you got to put in effort. You, you can't bring the baggage with you. This is an opportunity for extreme happiness. It is. But the future's in your hands. It's all about that. This is unknown. The unknown card comes up when we can't tell the future. It's in your hands. And it's in reversed. Somebody could lose the opportunity in love because they're not giving it a chance. They're not putting it up there on their list. Look at that. Holy shit. True love. Like I said, extreme bliss. This is the romance of a lifetime. Let them in. Give them your attention. Give them your time. Put them number one. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This is what has happened. You've called it in. Now you have it. Don't lose it. This will not resonate with every single person because some of you haven't reached this point. This is for the people that have. If you haven't reached this point, stay optimistic. Thoughts become things. If you think negative, you will get negative. If you think positive, you will get positive. If you think love is never coming, it's not coming. If you think love is right around the corner, it's right around the corner. That's how it works. Somebody has manifested this love. It's here. It's beautiful. It's the partnership of a lifetime. Don't let the past hurts, the past demons hold you back. Talk to you tomorrow. I'm on Instago. The link is below. Or you can request a reading, whatever you want. Namaste.